Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made me play dress up. We ran. Yes, we did. We ran to get out of that spot last time. And man, the lore we learned in that last episode. We found out what happened to Ted Pharaoh. So he was receiving treatments to live forever. Seemingly he did live for... We, unfortunately, I really wish we could have seen him. Seems like he lived forever and he also changed into some demonic... I don't know about demonic, but... Some kind of biological, crazy, weapon, human, monster type deal. <laughs> wow. But just think about that. Gone through Zero Dawn and most of this game. And you just now... I never even really thought about the fact that we didn't really know what happened to Ted, I guess. But man, so, so, so cool. And we are... So that, that right there is the mainland. Probably did find it over here. Very, very cool. And that ship, those little boats over there are pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we still have the outfit on. And she actually made a comment of she wants to change out of this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. But before I did that, I was kind of taking a look at the stuff. This actually has some decent, uh, decent, uh, what am I thinking of? Protection. This is, actually does pretty darn well. Now, it's not as good as the uh, this legendary we have, obviously. But it does do pretty pretty especially if you pretty well especially if you compare it to some of these non-legendaries i mean it's actually not bad and then if you install a uh, a weave then you can actually get one that helps against the acid and or uh the plasma so very cool but i think we're gonna go back to this i mean it's cool i mean it's kind of hard to beat isn't it so we're gonna go back equip this um and then today what i think we're gonna do if we take a look at the map I want to stay on the island for a little bit. The next stop in the main story is to go back to the base because now we got the protocol. So that is the next step to go back there. Um, but I want to spend some time on this island. And I think what we're going to do, counterintuitive to what I like to do, you know I love going left to right, which effectively would be clockwise. We're going to come up here since we're already up here. I think I want to clear this out and kind of see what's all here. And obviously we have tons of stuff to do here, at least for a little bit. I'm hoping at some point this can somehow get cleared. I don't know how, though, if we take the boat from here to here. But, I don't know, I guess we'll have to take some use some blind faith on that to find that out. So, yeah, we're just going to do some exploring, see what we come across. We have a question mark. We have uh, a black box over here. We know we have over here, we have, where is it? It's right there. We have a survey drone. We have a tall neck. Well, let's just kind of see what we have on this island and experience it for a bit. Oh my, look at that. I guess we're, we are going to have to probably swim across, aren't we? Can we get around this away? Yeah, I just kind of want to kind of ex experience this island, I guess. It's so, so cool. And think of, just think of the, um, all right, yeah, I guess we're swimming. <laughs> just think of the idea that this is San Francisco. That is, you know, the remain, the other, you know, the mainland we've been on and how flooded this is. Just think of that world with how flooded San Francisco became. Obviously it's on a bay um, and anything could happen, unfortunately. Uh, especially when um, crazy things like Zero Dawn happen. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, check that out. Tiny little waterfall. Is there anything we're seeing around here?
Where are you? Supply box. What is this loot? Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to see. Oh, can we do... Do we need fish? Where did that fish go? There we are. Can I... Let's target you. Oh, can I not shoot you? I, have I tried this before? I might have tried this before. Can I swim and catch you? That one disappeared. I think I've tried this before. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, there's not much we can do. Yeah, that you know, there's a little bit of a bummer with this game. I wonder, can we swim underground? Or underground. Underwater all the way back to the mainland. I almost would not see why not. Oh. Let's grab this. Yeah, so like I said, we're going to do, you know, just be a little more of a lighthearted type video. Where I just want to run around and experience this island because it's so beautiful. How do I get down to where that box is? Maybe it's on the other side. I mean, just think about like something as simple as this. Unless there's something with the story that brings you here, this is something you would never normally see. I don't think that's it. Now it looks, it's looking, all right, maybe go up. Can we go, can we swim through one of these windows? I don't really think we can. How about off to the side here? There we go. Really wish we could turn on that focus light right now. Oh, what'd we get? Sculpture and that all right, just sellable stuff. I noticed in the last episode when I was maybe the last couple episodes actually when I was recording. When you loot a box and it has the, the like a, a big thump da boom type sound effect where it gives it some like some real weight that you're actually opening those boxes. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I've noticed it throughout the entire game. It's kind of weird. It's just, it's something that I just recently pretty much noticed. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. All right. Uh, stuck, stuck on the, I would say reef, but it's more of kind of ruins, ruiny. You could basically kind of take the shore around. That was another thing I kind of I thought was kind of cool. You can see how the fog it, it has the very three D look to it. The fog is above the shoreline, like the beach area. It's pretty cool. You don't really notice it as much here as I at least I don't as much as I do when I'm around the, the beach area. Uh, I don't think we're going out there. Sunwing sight. Oh. Hello, fella. Weak to purge. Strong versus... Okay, alright. So, what do we have purge-wise? I know I have a bow... That has purge on it. There we go. We want to put this back on over the the shock. I, that kind of might that might make sense. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. All right, let's go ahead and get... Let's see if we can't take this. Although we're not in the... Although I guess we could get down there. I'm sure we need some parts off this guy. I didn't even realize that he was kind of turned away from us. Oh, I'm not crafted on this. Very well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep doing that. I, I, truly, I am. I just love it so much. Oh, wait. Did this... Wait, this used to be up here, and this used to be down here. How, why did that change? Did I put on a different bow that has this, those same two things, yet different order? The entire game it's been that way. That's what was throwing me off there. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, that. All right, that's gonna throw me off. If you think I'm already bad at switching weapons and ammo type already, that's really not gonna make things easy. I can't move up. Oh, there we go. I had to climb up over. Oh, look at this area. What are we stuck on? Oh, there, he's got a friend. Don't they all? Also, when we go back to the base, we have some uh, overrides to turn in. Alright, buddy. Let's give you the... Wait a minute. I didn't let go of the button. I did not let go of that button. Uh, did we use... Ten of those shots already? What is going on? <laughs> oh, is there another? There is. These guys are actually kind of cool to take on. I like it. I want to loot these things, though. Before I kind of forget and or lose them. Oh, we don't get hunted, Aloy. We do the hunting. Unless that's what she was referring to. <laughs> we don't get hunted. Can we get him with the, with the double? No, it's so close, though. God, this area is hard to navigate. Oh, you got off, didn't you? There we go. There we go. He goes. Uh, let's try something else. What what does Frost do to these guys? Have I tried Frost on these guys? It's actually been a while since we've taken one of these guys on. Oh, up and down, so jittery. No! I'm not getting up. It takes quite a few to, to kind of get them. I mean, it makes sense. He's not weak to it. All right, now that we got him, though. No. Oh, out of stamina. I'm 
get her right in the eyeball. Oh. There he goes. Brutal kill, Valor kill. Love it. All right, so I wonder, is this a... Yeah, that always gets me. I need... Is there what is there something you can do when you have that effect? Oh, I guess I could do a cleanse. I guess I could maybe do a cleanse potion. Can I make more of these? Rich meat and berries. Not enough room in the potion pouch. So I need to start using some other potion didn't need that then all right so i can go ahead and make one now so i what i need to do then i guess is maybe you what other potions do i have in i guess all right mean i guess maybe i use some of this up and then have that cleanse available because i never i mentioned this a few episodes ago in this game i never use potions i only recently somewhat occasionally from time to time rarely use smoke bombs and even the traps that you can set down i don't use those a whole lot either all right i think that's it for around here let's head on back down to the beach i want to make sure we get this fog cleared up all right oh what do, what do we got here i could use fire against it Snap Maw and it's Watcher. Or, yeah, and it's Watcher. So she mentioned fire. You know what I might want to use? I said I've been loving this, these. That might be pretty good against Snap Maw. I was hoping for something else to happen there. <laughs> I was hoping we get the option to do a silent. Get that crit. Oh! That snap maw came in. Came a hopping. Uh, let's get. Uh, we probably cannot freeze the snap maw, right? That's kind of my guess. Uh, so if that's the case, let's try let's try this the plasma for a bit. Oh, you're gonna catch on fire real quick. At least I hope you are. Oh, how did I? Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's right. They kind of suck you in. Forgot about that. I want to stay off of the shore, out of the water. That is for sure. No pun intended on that one, actually. Alright, this watcher is kind of annoying. Oh, he's actually frozen right now. Oh, and I do not have much health. Do we have time? No, no stamina. Alright, let's get back to this. Ooh, that guy got some shots. I mean, we're, this thing is actually staggering this guy quite a bit. I didn't realize we had the stagger capacity with those things. All right, you're not done.
Yeah, I'm so, I'm not really sure about these arrows. Like, what are the point? What's the purpose of those arrows? Is that that arrow? Targeting hunter arrows. I really don't know what those arrows do all this time. I really have no idea what that, that arrow does. Quinjaw is most effective against airborne or corroding enemies at mid range. Huh. Does it help something? Because it's sp it specifically says mid uh, airborne. Oh, so I should use that on the Sunwing. All right, we got some goodies back though. I'm all right with that. This is really throwing me off that this bow seemingly switched arrows spots. That's really throwing me off. Anything to look at around here? No? Oh, I do need health though. Is this health? That is not. All right, we gotta be on the lookout for health. Specifically before we get into our next battle. Oh. There we go, a few more goodies to sell. I think that might have been a crab burrowing. Oh. Wait a minute. Is it in the sand? <laughs> I think it must be. Yeah. Of the medicine. And at the same time, none of the medicine. All right, what popped here? There we go. Oh, that's just campfire. All right, excellent. Is this the one that I found in the... No. Actually, is another one. Wow, this gets really. This is really funky with close quarters underwater like that. Better shake off this wet. Is this a building that collapsed? I'm guessing. Yeah, Golden Gate. Uh oh. What do we got over there? We need to find health on the way over there. How did I get onto this? Did I specifically keep it on? Wait. Did I use those? Maybe that's why it switched. I must have used those. 
All right, so let's get back to the bombs then. Smoke bombs. I must use those in that fight. Oh, man. Look at that. Not that. Although we will in a moment. Oh, the Golden Gate. Man, check that out. Will we go up there at some point? Why can I not loot? There we go. There we go. Whoa, that thing was quick. That was 100% luck on that shot, by the way. 100% luck. Is this another... That's not a slaughter spine again, is it? Oh, there's our black box. I said we it is. Here. Why did that initially say that was unknown? We literally just fought one a couple episodes ago. Let's see if we can't sneak around, get the black box. Find some health, hopefully, maybe. And then take that guy out. Although, the black box is literally right here. So, there's not a whole lot. Although, the finding it might be the harder part. Oh, a Vista Point Tower is nearby. Oh, check that out. We need to get into there. Oh, no, that's the Vista Point Tower. Oh, I thought that was a black box. My bad. Oh. Interesting. An underwater vista. Gather these while I can. Where is that on the map? Oh, it's right in front of us. Vista Point Shrouded Heights. Find where the Vista Point image was taken. So we know the um, Golden Gate was in the background. Want that health. Did it have a round like this almost? In the foreground? Ah, oh, that's way big. That's this is what I'm looking at is way smaller. We are definitely going to do that. All right, so we need a domed. I don't see anything domed. Look at the stingrays. How cool is that? Oh, here's a dome. Oh, is there something down there? All right, let's take a look down here because usually this, these lights signify something. Boot. All right, that's just a, a swim boost. 
Oh, I wonder if we're going to come back here at some point. Oh, man, it is crazy beautiful. All right, um... off a little bit that looks pretty spot on although is that corner the corner on the right hand side of the dome but I'm thinking the bridge is over there, though, right? Oh, the fish. <laughs> There's an arch. It's an arch within an arch. That looks pretty darn good. At least matching the dome. Do I need to get lower? We kind of lose the arch within the arch, though. friend hmm. nope. I should find another Jiva path. rescued by first Emperor or it wait Im Imperator I have no idea uh, <laughs> Hydra bad December 22nd December 22nd 2059 the daring midnight rescue of teen heiress Sonali Jiva from the hands of labor extremists might sound like something from an action hollow but Eric Visser, first Imperator CEO, is quick to assure us that the reports of this human-led raid are completely true. Our employment of specialized human operators is what makes first Imperator stand out. Sure, a team of hunter-killer bots could have eliminated all those activists like we did. But could they have gotten the girl out unharmed? I don't think so. Dressed in the night fatigues, Eric's rugged look sells confidence as he goes on to explore what sets this operation above the rest. Technology plays its part, but true combat is about courage, adrenaline, and hot blood. In those situations, it's the man, not the weapon. Is that a book? Is that a book? Is that a story? Or is that supposedly a true, true thing in this world? See the bridge is over here though. That's what that's what's kind of got me. And usually we have what you can kind of see as being a a looking point of a literal vista point. Oh, I didn't want to do that smoke bomb. Oh, I think I created one. All right, that's fine. Yeah, this is just not working over here. Nope, not feeling that either. I think it's back where we initially started. That's not half bad. That actually looks pretty good right there. It 
So when this is out, it auto it auto beeps it. I think it's because it's trying to it's trying to like literally find it. I, it feels like we got to get lower. Is there anything? Oh, well, maybe this could be the spot. Is that why the lights are here? I think it's it. That did it. There we go. All right, so that was the viewing spot right there. Shrouded Heights. Welcome to the grand gate stop of our Vista Point tour brought to you by Miriam Technologies and the Coalition for Environmental Reclamation. The Grand Gate Bridge. Oh, they're calling it the Grand Gate Bridge. That's interesting. It span acts as a gateway to San Francisco, while the water below is a conduit to the Pacific Ocean, which by 2040 had reached critical levels of human-made con contaminants. The clawback era saw massive reductions to seaborne plastic pollution, and Miriam Technologies is proud to continue that trend. In fact, the new roadway atop the bridge was made with re repurposed Petroleum-based weapon or weapons. <laughs> wow. Waste products dredged from ocean waters by our machines. Emmett. Miriam Technologies deserves our thanks. Never thought I would get to see the Grand Gate. My journey is almost over. Only one more stop and one more note to leave behind. Kinda kinda wanna uh, that wow. Wow, they're reading skills today. Kinda want to drone drop from the top of the bridge. Ride down would be swank. Glad I don't have to swim around. I need plastic all day. That would... All right, so obviously there's some uh, environmental stuff going on there. Yeah, so that's what that's what this was here for. All right, I, I didn't pick up on that clearly initially. All right, where's that slaughter spine? You should be over here, over there. There he is. I want to see what's. Is there anything going on over here? Like, can we do anything? I doubt we can climb that. But taking a glider off of that would be amazing. Yeah, look at it. It's one of those. I forget what those things are called. They're not metal devils, are they? Is that what those things are called? Yeah, I just kind of saw this thing want to take a look. All right. Yeah, we cannot climb that. I didn't think we could. All right, what can we do with the slaughter spine with very little to no help? We're going to collect some health over here. Got a little bit. This area is so much more dense than previous areas we've been to. I remember I, early on, like the very early when you're at chain scrape area, I thought that was pretty dense. This is kind of a different world over here. I wonder. It's giving me a jump point, a grab point over there. All right, let's grab this health and these two, these three healths. I thought there was a third one right in this area. Was there not? There it is. All right, I'm wondering if we can get uh, this guy from up top. Kind of take some. Oh, that would be a no for that reason. We've got a storm bird, friends. 
Oh, now we have a Starbird and a Splinter Spine. Can we hide from this guy? Will they fight each other? Nope, I want to grab you. Check that view out. And dead end.